Good morning. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Well, we're back. I told you we'd be back on Saturday. So I have great news to report. Everybody is doing really good. Uh, I was hesitant on putting the pictures on this week, which I know you've noticed, but I did not want to jinx it and put everybody on here and then have somebody not do good and we lose a puppy. Um, seven puppies with a mom the size this is, it's really a lot of babies. Um, we have been, and after we did our video the other day, we did actually start bottle feeding. The one little tiny guy, this one says, I just want to stretch. Uh, we started bottle feeding him because they were absolutely too big and they were just shoving him out. And uh, he did great on a bottle and then he quit drinking a bottle about a day and a half ago. He's like, I don't want it anymore. So we were weighing him and he was nursing enough. He was gaining on his own. So it's like we kick-started him and got him going. And you got something all over your coat. I pick at him. I can't stand it. It's like a mom with kid with dirt on their face. Um, so they're all doing great. Everybody is gaining. You're not going to see as big of a gain every week with these guys as you do with our mid-sized schnoodles or even our large mini schnoodles because they're not going to get that big. So these are going to have a much smaller weight gain. The biggest thing I want to see is a weight gain every week. Um, and the little male did drop down um, about six tenths of a, uh, an ounce. And I wasn't surprised because we did that video relatively early from what we usually do. And uh, you got a scratch right there. So he dropped down to 4.6. We got him on a bottle. We got him back up to 5.2 and where he was at birth. And then he kind of took off and went on his own. So we're good. So I think I can pretty much assure you he is going to be the smallest one in the litter. And from looking at these guys right now, I would say this brown one is going to be the biggest in the litter. But, you know, it changes. You Sometimes uh, the biggest one doesn't always stay the biggest. Somebody else may catch him at some point. So I did microchip everybody. Um, I have not chipped him yet, only because he's so little. I just felt awful sticking him with that 16-gauge needle. So he's going to get his chip when he's bigger. Um, but I just can't do it right now. I just feel really guilty. I'm going to shove. They do better in a pile. If you see them in the, with their mom, they're all in a pile. And uh, now they're going to go, oh, i got to change positions. So a couple things about this litter, and it's really weird. Um, first of all, the really weird thing was there was no Merle in here with mom being a Merle. But second thing is, from right now looking at these guys from the back, I know these two are black. and I'm, But the other ones, these two look brown from the back. But I think it's these two that both have a black nose. When you have a black nosed dog, it will not be chocolate. So I don't know what to tell you, but I can tell you they'll probably change because there is so much of a brown hue on their coats that I don't know, it's really strange. So this one, this one says, let me grab your back feet. Oh, it says, I'm pulling you. This one was bound, he was gonna lay like that, and then I messed him up and he couldn't lay that way, so he's gonna move out front. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, this guy, I wrote this guy's number down. It's 8365, and that will be on the website when I post him. Um, I gave him, he says, oh, this is my mom. He'll probably start sucking my finger. Yep, he says, is there anything here to eat? Yep, he says, I'm gonna suck your finger. He remembers me. I pick him up now and he starts looking for a bottle sometimes. All right, so let's see. He is up to five, six, oh, 6. Oh, 6.2. That's awesome. So he's doing really good. But you see, I'm just going to be this little tiny tiger. And he is, you know, he's, if you look at head sizes, that makes a difference. The tail size made a difference as thick as, you know, if they're thick or thin. But this little pistol is doing really good. He said, I just needed somebody to be my mommy and kickstart me because my brothers and sisters wouldn't let me eat. So, toenails are growing unbelievably. I don't know. I'll put him against something dark. Can you see those toenails? Look how long those toenails are. Uh, we did trim front toenails the other day because I didn't want them scratching mom's belly when they nurse because they use their feet to push on each side of the nipple to help stimulate it so, so the milk will come out. 
and I didn't want her all scratched up. We left the back toes long because when they scoot across the carpet that they're on, they have no way to get around if they can't dig these back toenails in and crawl. But I can tell you when they were born, they were already huge. So it doesn't take them long to get toenails, that's for sure. So that's the little guy. And this is another one. This guy has a black nose. Oh, it's a girl, sorry. She says, I'm stretching. Uh, oh, and I told you about ears. Take a look at that ear. I won't touch it so I don't knock it off. See the flakes on that ear? They are already starting to creep open, but they won't be open until eyes open, but they're starting to shed their flakes. I guess they're stuck there. They're not gonna rub off anyway. Uh, this is a female. Her microchip number, now we can get out the chipper. All right, her chipper is 8368 is her microchip. She's got the double white toes on the back and she's got the splash on her chest that goes all the way up under her neck and she has a white goatee. Other than that, she's all black. Will she stay black? Right now I think so, but I can't figure out why when you see them in the light right, they look brown. So it's kind of a quandary to see where they're gonna go. Oh, my thing turned off, I talked too long. Okay, come on, zero out. It's cold, sweetie, I'm sorry. 8.4. So 8.4 ounces today. I'm gonna have to, he's back on the side. All right, I'm just gonna move you three this way. I'm gonna scoot you this way so you can lay right there on your side like you like. I'm gonna stick you right back in here where you were. With this many in colors, once they start to crawl, we're gonna to have to put little baby collars on them. I won't be able, to, maybe ribbons or something, but I will not be able to keep it straight. Um, so this one is what I consider to be the biggest one in the litter right now. And this is a female, I guess we'll know by weights. She has the little tiny dot on her chest, no white on her neck, no white goatee. Just let me curl her, oh this one's gonna, he's gonna turn around. Okay, you can turn around. This one is 8366 is the microchip number. Ears are also starting to flake out. So it won't be too long till eyes open. But other than that, this one has a lot of waves on the coat starting to show. You got something on your coat and I'm gonna pick at you again. But they have little, little waves coming. Huh, I know you're such a cutie. Brown nose, green eyes. Oh my, 10.2 ounces. They have doubled their size in a week and a day. Um, the biggest ones when they were born were 5.6. Everybody else ranged 5.2 or 5.6. So I can't believe that they've almost doubled in a week. Okay, I'm gonna put you back where you were. All right, so the next one, oh, this one says, I'm gonna suck your face. Is there anything there? Is there a nipple there? I don't know if they were asleep when we got them or if they were nursing. Vanessa put them in the basket. This is a male. He has boy plumbing. He says, can you just let me sleep? He really likes this position. You could just stay right there and sleep, couldn't you, pumpkin? They're so cute when they sleep. They also, um, there's times that you'll see, I try not to put pictures on the internet that have their mouth open. I think they look goofy. But when we hold their head to take a picture, if I touch their face on the side, Usually, and he's too asleep to do it, usually they yawn. And so when they're awake and I'm stimulating to take pictures and they know they're not where they're supposed to be, they make this goofy face and they yawn. All right, so let me give you a microchip number. You're just like a rubber band. You're going to bend everywhere. 8364 is the microchip. <laughs> he looks a little bit. He says, I'm hanging. See, I'm hanging. His ears don't show any signs yet of opening up on that side. Nope, not on that side. And ears on these guys, they'll have more of a poodle ear than they will a schnauzer ear. But, and you'll hear me tell you many times during the videos or when you pick up, and especially later videos, um, don't cut the hair off their ears until they're about nine months old. I have seen, especially schnauzer puppies, if you shave that hair off their ears, they'll learn to hold that ear up halfway like the flying nun, or it'll come clear up and stay up like that. And then, when they get to be this long, they look like a jackrabbit. So I tell everybody, don't shave their ears till they're nine months old. 
You won't regret it, that's for sure. Lots of curls coming. And this little booger has, oh, maybe five white hairs right there at the end of my thumb. Uh, no white on the chest or chin, but there's just a little bit. And probably once his hair gets bigger, you won't even be able to see it. But there's not more than four or five hairs right there on her chin. All right, let's stick you back in. All right, so next, there goes the yawn. There goes the yawn. I know. This is a female. And um, ear, her ears are starting to flake open. Oh, wait, should I say female? Yeah. I said that before I looked. 8362 is her microchip number. Uh, she's got a little tiny white streak, just a snip of white down this chest. Turn your head. If I can get her to relax, there she goes. White under her chest, or chin. There you can kind of see those white spots on her chest. She's got about 15 white hairs on her chin. Those will always be there. That won't change. There goes the yawn. I know it. She's just so cute. Got a little bit of white on these feet. Now, the white on her toes, and it may true may turn truthfully with her. If, it, if this was a purebred poodle and you had a black dog with white under the toes, it's going to turn silver. With a schnoodle, I don't know. Nobody's ever told me if that worked or didn't work. So um, there is a chance, I'm not going to tell you there's not, of her turning because she's got this white on the bottom of her pads. It's a, it's a flip of the coin. Where are you going? So it may or may not hold true, you know, and she's not going to turn until probably, unless she does it while we're doing videos. Oh, is that itch? Oh, she says that feels pretty good. Oh, there you go. It's flipping. Um, well, I'll watch coats for you. She's one of these that has that brown cast to her when I hold her in the light from my angle, but she's got a black nose. So, and you'll probably see us, you'll see rubber band on the tail. Uh, the bands we don't take off until about, um, three or four weeks into it. It'll automatically just come off when, when they have a bath. She says, I'm going back to sleep. All right, let me put you back down here. I'll put you in the middle. There you go. You can use him for a pillow. All right, this one, they're kind of going to go everywhere now. She says, oh, I'm tired. You've got to yawn. All right, let's roll you over. This one is another one. There's a little black one. I think she's the littlest. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I didn't weigh this one. Did I weigh the other one? You know what? Somebody's going to call me and tell me, you didn't weigh that one. So <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. It's a senior moment. 8362 is this one that we just did. And I'm going to go back one more and weigh that one. Because I don't know if I weighed it or not. I think I did, but I don't think I did either. This one is 8364. She was the chocolate that had no white anywhere on her little, his little body. Sorry, this is the boy. Let's see what he weighs. Eight ounces. All right. Did I weigh this one? I didn't think so. Oh my golly, it's Saturday morning. Nine ounces, it's too early in the morning. We never do videos this early. It's, it's like maybe nine o'clock, 9.50. <laughs> we never do them this early. All right, I hope I caught back up. Uh, this one is 83.67. This is a female. I am going to weigh her right now. 6.8. Oh, you're cold. I know. I hate that cold tray. Um, I think she's the tiniest. I really do. And, oh, let's see. She has no white anywhere. Pads do not show any white on the bottom of these. Well, maybe I lied. Let me see. What's that front one look like? There's like 10 hairs of white right there in that front pad that she doesn't want me to hold up. She says, just let me go back to sleep. But she's doing good too. She's been holding her own. I haven't had to bottle feed her whatsoever. Just this little monkey. Sometimes I'll itch and scratch. Turn around here, snuggle. All right, this one is, did we miss a boy? We got two boys in here. I missed a boy. Plumbing, I didn't look good at plumbing. We're going to find that boy. 8363. 
is the microchip number. Oh, I guess we're all human. Uh, no white. No white on toes. There you go. You got a good shot at those white, non-white toes. And ears are peeling, so she's going to open up here soon. Probably sometime this next week. Usually their eyes open. Yeah, both sides are flaking. Um, about 12 days. Usually it's 12 days, sometimes up to 16. They will, they will finally open. And she is 7.4 ounces. 